Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. Now the last time I did a video like this, I literally had like a three minute intro explaining what I was doing and it was so not necessary because this isn't rocket science. Like this video concept is not as confusing as I thought it was gonna be. But uh, I'm gonna get into it a little bit. I'm gonna explain it a little bit. You know I like to ramble, so I'm just going to for a second. So as you guys know, wish.com, yes, you know her well. You know her especially well if you watch a lot of my videos. I tend to shop on Wish a lot. It's actually a problem at this point. But the other day I was scrolling around on Wish and I saw a bunch of like Brandy Melville inspired clothing and I was very confused, first of all, because I don't know how Wish gets away with using other people's like pictures as promotion, it's definitely some sort of illegal. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty sure. But yeah, there was just a bunch of Brandy Melville's pictures, clothing, the name Brandy Melville in the tagline. So I thought, let's see. Let's see what this Brandy Melville clothing from Wish is like. So initially when I thought about doing this video, I was gonna do it like the Fashion Nova versus Wish Kylie Jenner remake. So I was gonna like take the real Brandy Melville versus the Wish Brandy Melville. But then I realized I can't be that picky because there isn't that much stuff on Wish that is Brandy Melville inspired. But I do have one thing. We have one real to compare to the fake. I thought I had more, but I honestly have no idea where it went. My Brandy Melville got up, walked out of my closet, and left completely. So this is basically just gonna be trying fake Brandy Melville clothing from Wish just to see what it is. Also, there's something in my eye and it's bothering me a lot. <sighs> this is why I don't wear eyelashes. But yeah, okay, I'm going to withhold the explanations, withhold the rambling, and let's just get into this video. As usual, I got a big Rubbermaid. I got a big Rubbermaid of stuff. So the first thing is not in packaging. I must have ripped it out of packaging a while ago. Everything else is already packaged, but this is not. So according to my history, this is a 2015 new arrival woman mini sexy hollow out bra tank top strap backless Brandy Melville beach short crop cami. Suh. Cami. Suh. Camis. But yeah, this picture is definitely from a Brandy Melville shoot. That's a Brandy Melville top. That's a Brandy Melville skirt, and I actually have that skirt, so I wish I could have found that on Wish, but whatever. But yeah, this shirt is very, very much popular with Brandy Melville. I did actually have this shirt, and I literally clean out my closet, like, three weeks ago and I got rid of it. Like, why did I do that? But yeah, so this is $9 and I'm pretty sure that's Olivia Brower. I don't know how you pronounce it, but she was a Brandy Melville model. I don't know if she still is, but okay. Needless to say, it says Brandy Melville in the tagline. So we gotta see, we gotta see. I'm <laughs> very, I am very interested, okay? First of all, obviously, the tag does not say Brandy Melville on it, so we're off to a dangerous start. Let's see, there's no tag on the shirt. Okay, all right, so here it is. I think in comparison to the picture, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more cropped, but the general build of it is there. Like, they've got the crisscross straps. That's definitely the statement piece, but the feeling, they miss the mark. And also this is a built-in bra, which I do like, but the Brandy one for sure doesn't. And also it's got a little bit of ruching down the middle, which the Brandy one also did not have. If I could show you the real one, you know I wish I could, but it's somewhere donated. I think they also missed the mark on fabric, but honestly, I think when this is on, it's gonna look very, very similar. So let's just quickly go and put it on and then we will say what we really think of it. All right. Okay, so here is this shirt on. Um, first glance, it's actually not too bad. I think when it really, really gets looking bad is when you look very closely at like the boob pads. Can you, can you see? There's a little bit of an issue going on here. Um, the fabric is so, so see-through, but the uh, like boob padding is like, opaque obviously so that's like all you can really see especially in like direct light so you can see it's very very see-through on the back and then when you turn it's like what the heck <laughs> which honestly take my word for it the brandy melville shirt actually isn't like that 
But I will say if I was to rip these boob pads out and maybe wear like a nude bra underneath, I think this wouldn't be too bad. And also this came in not one size, so that is nice because Brandy Melville obviously has like a big flaw in the fact that it is one size. So if you liked this style that Brandy has on Wish, you could get it in more sizes, which is a nice option, I will say. But I think in this case, they're not doing the most for it. Honestly, I think I would probably give this like a 7 out of 10 as a remake. I think that there are some pretty big flaws, but I think the general idea is there. And it is quite soft actually, like it's a comfortable material. I just think that it needs to be a little bit more opaque and then it would get a 10 out of 10 for sure. Okay, now for the one thing that I actually have the legit Brandy Melville one to compare it to. This one actually has insanely good reviews. It has 4 out of 5 stars from 237 people. And this was $6.65, so a lot less than what Brandy charges. Obviously, I think this shirt when I got it was like probably $18 to like $21 or something like that for a little cami. I do have this top straight from Brandy, so let's see. I'm very curious. I feel like this whole video is just going to be me being like, curious, interesting. Okay, okay. Honestly, so far, the general idea is there. Like, I have the actual one right here, and they look very similar. Coloring-wise, I think the feeling is a lot different. This one feels a lot more like cotton and like soft. Whereas this one feels a little bit more, for lack of better words, cardboard. It doesn't really feel like cardboard, but it just feels a lot more of a stiff fabric. But oh my goodness, like this is not, this is not too bad actually. Like I almost feel like if I saw someone wearing this, I would just assume it was the brand new one. Like this is pretty close. Honestly, the only difference is the feeling. Like you can kind of tell the real one is more floppy and like soft, whereas this one's like more like papery. I'm excited to see what this one looks like on. Let's put it on and put the real brand new one on and see what they look like side by side. What is this? We got shirt inception. Okay, I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna, I'll put the real one on first. Okay, so here is the real brand new Melville shirt on. As you can see, it's very, very slouchy and it actually is like super long straps on it and it's not super tight down here it's a very like fluffy soft material what is this material also wait a second it's the exact same color as my sweatpants right now oh, oh we love to match all right we got the wish one on now and honestly why do i kind of like the wish one more i feel like it fits me better i will say though it's got this weird like white thing going on right here that i'm not a huge fan of but like the fit of it is like so, so comfortable. It fits me like a glove. Like on the back, the straps aren't like too long. Whereas on the actual one, I feel like it's a little bit too long. I've always kind of had to like tie them up. Uh, I will say the real one, I think is a way more comfortable fabric. But that being said, this one isn't like uncomfortable. And I'm pretty sure this one was available in more sizes as well. And like the idea is there, the colors there, it's like a heathered charcoal, gray it's got the tie up like this is not bad it matches the sweatpants good it's super super easy to wear i really like this okay i'm gonna quickly just put in the side by side so you guys can see clearly there is a difference between the fit of them this one's a lot tighter and kind of a different fabric it's way more open because it pulls tight and it's not as loose on the back. Honestly, I would say both are a win. I would give this one a 10 out of 10 and the brand new one a 10 out of 10. All right, and then we've got this big denim jacket on the ad. It says a brand new Melville blue heavy, wait, fur lined Anri fur denim jacket NWT. I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, it's got four out of five stars for 47 people, and this is also a brandy one. And also, they tagged Brandy Melville first in the line. And this was $32, so definitely less than Brandy would charge. I'm very excited about this. I actually have never even had a denim jacket from Brandy, which is surprising because I swear I have a denim jacket from everywhere. Also in my last video, you guys were like laughing because there was a bag with a zipper on it and I ripped into it and I did it again. <laughs> okay, I'm curious to see if this has, no. Okay, so it doesn't even say Brandy, which I don't know, is that better or worse that they're not trying to steal the tag? Cause they're clearly stealing the design, 
but they're not pretending to be brandy. They're using it in the ad, but not, I don't know. I kind of think that that's better that they didn't put like Brandy Melville here. Woo Winuzea. I should not even try. Why do I even try? But this feels freaking awesome. I'm sorry, but this actually feels like a great thick denim jacket. Like it feels like well-made quality good buttons. What the heck? This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna throw this on. We can see what it looks like on. I definitely could see myself wearing this. It feels like a heavy, thick, warm denim jacket. <laughs> All right, we got the jacket here. I'm feeling a little cold in my tank top anyways, so I'm excited to get this baby on. Like, look at this. It's all fluffy in the inside. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. This is the find of a century. This is so nice. What the heck? Sorry, I'm like looking, my mirror's over here in case you're wondering why I keep looking over here. But like, this is cute as ever. This looks like a expensive jean jacket. I really, really like this. And not only does it look like expensive and nice, it looks like the pictures from the Brandy photo shoot. Granted, it was still kind of expensive because it was $33 and then you had to pay shipping on it. But still, I'm pretty sure this was available in more sizes as well. Okay, um, I guess I'm on my last item. I definitely ordered like two other Brandy Melville things, but I guess they never delivered, so that's great. This is another one that I actually had the real Brandy Melville one, and where did it go? It's just disappearing from my closet, like I have no idea. Maybe I have moths in my closet and they're eating them all? I don't know, I feel like that would take a long time, so don't think that actually would happen. But uh, this is a... <coughs> Knitted open button short sweater AA American Brandy Melville long sleeve crop tops jumper knitwear. Now, this shirt rocks. Okay, this is so comfortable. It's like the perfect crop. I'm actually like kind of upset that I don't know where it is because I really do like it. Um, I have the white one, so I did buy the white one. See, let's see. Oh my goodness, okay, this actually feels very similar to the real one. I think to not know what the real one feels like, this is very similar. I think the real one's a little bit more thicky thermal-like, but this one's pretty freaking good. And again, they didn't use like a Brandy Melville tag. This is like something else. It looks similar, but not. I think this one is going to be a little less cropped than the Brandy thing is. Honestly, they should just use their own pictures because they used clearly Brandy Melville ones. Like if you zoom in, you can see like the tag, $14. So I think usually this would be like 30, but after shipping, it's pretty close for the real and the fake. But okay, I'm gonna put this on. I think there'll be a little bit of an issue with the length just because I'm pretty sure, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many buttons are there? Oh, okay, put it on. All right, last one on, okay, what? in the world you guys we are doing so well now that i have it on it's like the exact same fit because i remember mine is like a little bit short on the arms and so is this one and the crop is actually like the perfect crop because it's not like too short not too long it kind of just meets like perfectly right there and this is soft like this is very soft definitely not as thick as the real one that i have but it's like very, very soft and super comfortable, like not scratchy or cardboardy feeling at all. This is nice. Like I kind of feel like we're doing really good. Like I feel like a lot of times when I make wish videos, they like don't turn out that well. But like I feel like everything we've been finding has been like pretty decent. Like this is pretty good. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so impressed. I just can't even hide it. Like, I am so happy. I feel like it's been a while since we did a wish video that it was like, I really liked everything I got, but this turned out so good. Like, I'm impressed. I'm honestly, I sorry. I sorry. I sorry that I can't contain this. I'm excited. I'm happy that everything looked good. I mean, aside from the first one, I think from the first to the last, it just kept getting better. But more importantly, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know it was a quick one. We only tried four things, but if you guys want me to expand on this or do this with other brands where I try the Wish remakes or remakes from anywhere, let me know down below what brand or even the link to the product, anything, whatever you guys want. I would like to do it. But yeah, for now, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys 
in the next one. We post on Fridays and Sundays, and I would love to see you there. Okay.